Hey guys, welcome back. It's Keep here. We are, oh my god, episode number 30 already. So cool. Uh, this is what we did in the previous episode. And I want to say I have something really good for you today. Trust me when I'm saying that. You'll see. You'll see. Probably already saw the title, uh, of course, and the thumbnail. But hey, just, I don't know. Pre pretend this is a secret, something new, <laughs> or something like that. So, if you guys do remember from uh, last episode, we build a Ministry of Defense, right? Well, in front of the Ministry of Defense, which is the long, beautiful, uh, white building here on Google Earth, I'm showing you this. It's the Accor Hotels Arena. It's something, it's a, uh, I think it's a skating ar arena or, uh, or something like that. And that's a cool thing. I, I Well, actually, uh, it's a cool thing because it's an arena and it has a beautiful and interesting um, shape. But I didn't want to do that. I had no idea and intention of doing that. And guess what? I said to myself, hey, maybe we can try doing it. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And here we are watching it and looking at it. Yes. It was made of PO, only procedural objects. Anyways, let's start uh, with the story, right? Let's start how we decided on going with that, actually. So, here on Google Earthenia, uh, we have uh, hmm, this uh, Accor Hotels Arena. Okay, it's, uh, it's a skate park. I I'm, I I'm sure it's a skate park arena. Oh man, I never do my homework. I think, not I think, this one is quite huge. It's almost, almost, at least it looks like it's almost the same height as the uh, Ministry of Defense, but... Okay, um, I think... Oh, it's an indoor sports arena and concert hall located in the neighborhood of Bercy. You suck, Skibby. Do your homeworks. <laughs> Anyways, this one is very tall, but in my... Um, in little france i think i made it not i think i made it a little bit smaller and you know what i'm gonna show you why and how and cool uh the reason why i made it smaller it's because if i had to make it taller i had also to make it uh wider and if that was going to be happening guess what i couldn't i, I had to squeeze it into these buildings and roads and i couldn't do that so i left it like a, a very very big, very big, a very small one, right? Smaller, um, uh, I think it's not bad, to be very, very honest with you. It's not, not bad. Okay, first things first, we need to do the road system a tiny bit so we can have a clear image of how things will, gonna, will look. So I've started with the first bridge, uh, I'm adding some roads at the end of the area. We are actually, we're not going to build here anyways. And I need to change now this uh, highway, the sunken highway and the roads. I need to change them a bit. I will add like a two way, uh, lane uh, roads to go from a bridge to another one. So this is like, uh, it looks like it's elevated, but actually it should be like in the, on the ground level. And we have the sunken, uh, the sunken highway there, which will be linked, uh, of course, with some entrances and exits uh, from this intersection as well. I chose, I've, to be honest with you, I've tried few ways of doing this and this is the best one I could think, think of. Uh, even though these roads, these beautiful uh, highway roads made by yogurt uh, are actually very good, it's not that easy to make some um, interesting angles when you have to link like one lane with two lanes into three lanes so when you have to link these kind of things it's not that easy i've tried it like 20 or 30 minutes i cut off the entire video from there it's so damn hard so this is the best way to do uh, in my opinion here um, this is what i chose for my highway entrance and exit from from here for this boulevard uh, near at bercy area in uh, paris and it, it looks fine, but now the, the real, real challenge starts to, uh, this is the building, the hotel course, uh, the arena building, right? 
I'm adding down here some toppable pavement made by Ronix and I'm turning it into a procedural object to be very easy to work with. I'm also adding these um, beautiful, <laughs> I keep saying beautiful, uh, ploppable grass and I'm trying to plop them at a different angle because I need to mark all the corners to link all the corners. See, there is a gap between these corners and I need to link them and this is the only way. Before I was trying to do this with a with the slopes, uh, there are some slope networks, those are really good but mm, I couldn't actually link the, the corners so I had to think of something else. Then I need to, to do something with these corners where the grass corners are being linked. So I was thinking what should I do and I found this concrete, uh, concrete uh, prop. Uh, I stretched it and made it like that. I didn't want to use rotation because if I was going to use the rotation then when I tried to move it on all these corners it wouldn't have looked very uh, very well. Let you know what let, let me show you what I'm talking about. See this is the um, arena and all these corners are being linked with something that like, looks like a concrete. I've tried something else but I, I went for those tubes, uh, concrete tubes as well. And I managed like, to do it like that. We have grass there and there. I went of course from the ground level too to see how this uh, looks like. And this is how they turn out here if you look. Um, so we have these beautiful corners. Uh, at least on top of it, down below here I went for retaining walls but we will get there too very very soon. For the first, le for the first level, yeah, I went of course with some concrete, probable uh, pavement, not concrete pavement, yeah, to make the floor. But if you think about it, um, we have the entrance and the entrance uh, looks like uh, like this. Uh, let me see. This one. This is the main entrance here. We have an, a beautiful area here with some... It looks like it's wood. I don't know if it's wood. I don't even care to be honest. I don't need to know that. Uh, and if we go to the, uh, to the street level, here are some, uh, there are some shopping areas, I believe, and you can get inside there, of course, and uh, whatnot. There is another, um, also something here at the uh, top floor, but I'm, I was thinking what to do, and I needed some shops, little shops with uh, glass windows, big glass windows. And I looked for, uh, on the workshop to see what we, what little things we have, and Raccoon has these, and then I found some some uh, made for Monaco, and I think I'm gonna use both of them uh, for for this uh, type of build. And I'm I'm starting at the bottom side of the uh, arena. I'm adding the the ones from Monaco. I'm always changing the colors. I'm using the prop coloring mode and also a painter, which allows you to paint buildings and props. This way, they are not going to be that bright uh, anymore. I also have some cool textures uh, can be, that can be turned into uh, procedural objects and this, those textures are actually really, really good. Um, they look like the ones from the from Arena, they're like, they're, these are wooden textures. I think those from Arena are also wooden textures, I'm not totally sure, but that's how they look like. And I'm adding some other extra shops on top of them. Probably in real life, actually, maybe those are not even shops. I don't know, but I don't care. Uh, I'm not going to copy. As you can see, actually, it's not a complete copy of uh, the arena. It's like an inspiration, a big inspiration, right? And of course, there are so many stairs. The stairs are actually could have done in two ways, like the ones that are, of course, in real life there and like these ones. <laughs> and I, I went for the easier. Uh, the, the easier ones because the ones in real life and I will show you very soon on Google Earth they are kind of crazy to do it's not impossible it is possible with procedural object mode but I went for something easier because this entire build kind of took a lot of time uh, for me on top floors I'm going to add either retaining walls or fences like these ones for um, for safety for people's safety and um, I'll do this uh, all over the entire building. 
I'm continuing now with the uh, grass walls for the first uh, for the floor side here and I'm adding this ramp there is a ramp there probably for people with disabilities or probably why not just like that I don't actually know and I'm, I'm also adding it uh, here too I will uh, add this fence with procedural objects so I can make it on a specific angle this way it would be uh, much more easier but then guys we have to go here on this entrance there is another side right uh, and this is the ramp that I was telling you about and we have this one here I didn't do this entrance by the way we are this entrance and I was like hey should I go for the same type of entrance with these stairs and other entrances here at the uh, next level and I thought Mm, maybe totally not yes not 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 and I went for another spy building the ones made by Amy Polite and I, and I shrinked it down with the procedural objects I left only the entrance and plopped it down there it's a different type of entrance if you compare it to the existing one but again not copying stuff inspiring and doing as much as I can then I added some curbs, concrete curbs, and now I'm uh, using some smoke stacks, smoke chimneys, big, huge smoke chimneys, uh, to make them look like, uh, <laughs> to make them look like um, big, let's say, concrete pillars, uh, like that have a tube uh, shape, like a tube. Uh, and on top there, I'm adding another spy building made by the same uh, Emmy policy uh, turned into a procedural object just because we have some extra stuff on um, on top of uh, the, the building itself. And of course, uh, we need a coverage for the roof. And uh, Ronix's roof props, which are more like segments, like uh, networks, are super cool. And if you plop them like this, they don't flicker. Uh, actually, they even create some super cool <laughs> shapes on top of uh, of them, and that's really nice. Um, on top of the building, there are some other uh, blue stuff. Uh, I think there are some windows or something. And I'm adding these um, little solar panels, also made by Ronix, uh, just to make to add something blue on the. Even though I know I have some windows to add there, but hey, I went for that. Um, the other thing that we need to do, I need to do, I had to do, uh, was the big metal beams that are on top of the roof. And if we uh, have a look here on Google Earth, there are these beautiful ones which are blue, bluish. And these are the column, the concrete columns that I was telling you about. These are the blue, I think it, they are windows um, for having natural uh, light inside there. But hey. I went for these ones and uh, also Amy Polite has some really cool ones and because of course I, we can turn them with procedural objects we, I went for that and of course I resized them and plop them so we can actually have a very very similar aspect and of course if you know uh, we can uh, color them very easily and they are blue like in real life so I went for a bluish color as well for 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 them I think in the end probably I could have found something different to use here but hey this was the best thing ever uh, if you ask me and uh, now I'm going to show you here on the Google Earth uh, um, these windows where are they here these ones I was like oh my god can I do this shall I do this <laughs> and when I um, first I said no I'm not going to do this it's very hard also these ones are super hard to do plus it was very 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 time consuming and um, while I was just <clears throat> sorry while I was just doing this uh, build and looking on the map I, I spotted this building this office building from here oh my god this was like hey that's interesting and voila I've tried to use that and uh, it turned out pretty well because if, if you change it with procedural objects for sure you are going to find lots of cool stuff on your map on your assets in the, on the workshop that can be transformed as exactly as you want it 
plus the procedural object that does the, the, the job for you. And that's definitely amazing. Again, procedural objects is one of my best, uh, not of my, my, one of the best modes that I'm using. And I totally, totally love it. Now the building, it's ready. A little bit of coloring and I think we are there guys with this uh, looking like it's not totally of course similar but hey it is something glassy and it looks fine continuing uh, with another entrance one of the other entrances I'm not going to show you all the entrances because this video will, will get like maybe more than one hour and we don't have that much time and uh, this uh, I found some cool stairs on the workshop I'm using those I have these beautiful also doors uh, they are made by Revo for a big depot there or a warehouse we can use them of course with procedure objects uh, you can make it smaller bigger whatever um, I found another door a door that came with a prop uh, with an asset sorry with an asset I, I forgot the name of the asset and you can get this prop as well for doors so we kind of found everything we needed there just the only thing we have to do I have to do is to hide the the nasty parts and to make things uh, more similar uh, the way they are in real life there adding the retaining walls that I was telling you earlier uh, on the ground level I'm using retaining walls of course the grass um, probable grass that is really nice uh, on a really good angle uh, like in real life and um, things will start to get more um, more realistic vibe and more similar vibe that it is uh, like it's uh, in uh, real life to be honest for those who are not using procedural objects because it seems to be very hard it is not i'm trying to convince two dollars and other guys to use it because it is a game changer um, just start using it for easier things at the beginning until you get familiar with it like plopping down props and turn them into procedural objects or decals or whatever don't modify them and later just start to modify them a little bit and maybe then we can pass to the buildings and harder things even though at this point I don't find anything hard with procedural objects but then again maybe it's because I'm using it for a lot of time um, I found some really cool escalators but I had them for some time now I'm using the escalators here as well to make people uh, make the job for people <laughs> easier to get up there uh, even though it's not like in real life I wanted to add that, that there for people with disabilities there is a ramp uh, probably there will be some and in, inside the, inside this building you might find also some elevators or, or whatnot um, so uh, I'm using again the solar panels made by Ironix and I'm, tr I'm moving them more closer to each other because I want to make these big glass <laughs> eventually I said hey I want to add a few more glass windows there and I'm using them like here uh, looks pretty cool let's honest with the rotations and some move it and maybe some uh, different uh, prop size it's all there coloring at the end and the final touch is here on the walls, of course, some graffiti, because how come uh, uh, go without uh, having some graffiti on the walls? It was too, too uh, clean uh, area. Um, now I'm, at, I'm tackling, there is a, I will show you uh, soon on the Google Earth. Uh, I'm tackling an overpass, an overcrossing for people. Uh, I saw that to on the Google Earth there. It's pretty cool and interesting. I'm using Titan's platforms for this. Uh, he made some cool platforms for train station actually, and I'm using them for uh, an overpass here, which is not bad. It's really cool. I'm using them uh, uh, to, to make this overpass and uh, I will add an invisible pathway uh, there. To be very honest to you guys, I haven't yet uh, fin fin finalized this uh, build with uh, all those invisible pathways and whatnot not yet i will do it in the future um it is hard to play with that uh, but i will bring people here to spend some time with invisible um, gathering points i'm adding 
a road here too so cars can actually use it and because it's a pavement road i have to delimitate it somehow and i'm using these lines uh, beautiful yellow lines oh my god i keep saying beautiful 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 it, it is beautiful <laughs> they are beautiful and i'm using these lines here to delimit the area for cars even though people can actually walk there it's an area where the cars have to you know drive slower in a certain um, uh, way Lots uh, of details are being added um, without showing in this time lapse because there are easy things to do. For instance, I'm adding these benches, uh, some street signs, and whatnot to make to add that extra thing for for the area. Of course, trees in plant plant areas, uh, little green spaces, some cracks on the ground there that are colored with prop uh, painter and. Uh, some decals, damage decals there, stuff that uh, brings things to a more vibrant look and more realistic look like in like it's, it's there in uh, real life. I've also changed other st stuff too but I will show you at the end of the time lapses uh, here I will show you what else and how things are actually looking there um, even though you kind of maybe had some little uh, glimpses on, uh, on, on how they look. I'm, I'm adding here concrete pillars for this uh, platform, for this overcrossing here. I will add some uh, glass barriers there so people cannot fall, let's, uh, let's say from, um, <laughs> from there. So if you look here on Google Earth, um, this is the, um, the overcrossing that is coming from here. And going this way to, to this park, um, Park de Bercy, and there is beautiful, this, uh, of course it's beautiful, <laughs> this bridge, which I actually done, I, I did it in the game, it looks very cool, but I'm not going to show you today, it's a very long video and I cannot do that. We need to finish this area with these, uh, with these buildings and... Uh, the next part will be in the next episode, right? Where I'm going to tackle uh, this area with these buildings. So in episode number 31, I'm going to do this uh, area. Probably we are going this far. I don't know. We shall see. Depends. Now, um, filling here, let's fill the, the last area available. Um, and because we have in real life there, it's a skate park. It's a skate park that is covered actually. Uh, I'm going to just add the skate park right now, not nothing else, um, uh, and doing some trees and uh, everything you need to, you know, to make it look like it's full. Because otherwise, the area, if you look here at the area, it's like lots and lots of concrete, and it, it, it's not looking that good, that well. So I had to also add extra things. Um, well, some of them are in real life, some are not, and I, I'm adding some things that I think they might fit pretty well here. Uh, a little small parking area near this skate park which is also very close to um, to these uh, buildings one of them is a hotel here the, the buildings that I plopped earlier uh, it's a hotel and um, the con that the concert hall or the arena that those have some um, underground parking area lots across well near the river across the highway there is a um, also in real life, there is a little uh, area from where you can take a ferry or some boats to go on the river. So I had to add something of my own as well. And I made, I, go, I went with this big, of course, it's big. Uh, it's a ferry depot. I'm going to add a little ferry to a uh, ferry station uh, in order to actually do have some ferries going on this river, on Seine River. It is pity not to use it, right? So I'm using these to, to take some um, ferries and take people from a place to another, which is actually going to work like that. People uh, are actually taking the ferry and going to another place on um, in, in Little France. Uh, let's li last little uh, touches here. I made a... So I from, from that road from above, you can get down there, um, take the highway and uh, via a roundabout or go to the ferry. Um, I don't know how else to add these um, uh, things. I, I made this area here. I added some stairs as well so people can actually walk down there. I had an invisible pathway through there. I hide a hidden that ugly area with a slope. A green slope this one that I'm also covering the extra ugly things uh, it's a slope um, network which works pretty cool to hide some stuff and I ha ha I hide it there 
I think I'm really good <laughs> of, of hiding uh, uh, ugly places and areas uh, uh, when it comes to this. If you, if nothing else can do it, of course, some bushes and trees will uh, probably do the best. I think across, not across, uh, along the river, in uh, there are lots of parking areas. My area is bigger than in reality. I, I kind of kept a long, a bigger area for, for, uh, for this riverside and. I'm going to plop more parking areas, but the area is pretty huge and I don't know what else to add there, what else to, to, to add in order to fill it, maybe with more trees or whatnot. I'm not totally sure. We will think about it. I'm, I'm adding trees, I'm adding um, meadow grass and whatever it's needed to hide all these empty areas, but still, you will see it in the next episode, there is a huge, huge uh, space there. Uh, that also still needs to be <laughs> to be fill in. Uh, the time lapse is coming uh, is coming to an end. Uh, I will show you uh, the real life um, moment uh, to show you how things are and how they look like. I'm hiding here the last thing on on the highway, uh, but I think it will be um, it will be better for for me if I'm going to show you uh, right in the game. So, uh, where is it? Here. We filled in um, this area that I was uh, showing you here. I, I've done these um, markings on the, on the highway because the cars that are coming from here, because of this retaining wall, they cannot see what is coming from there. So, I had to add these extra markings that uh, makes the car to change the lane, the first lane with the second one, so these guys can actually enter the traffic uh, properly. This is the uh, ferry area, ferries are actually uh, actually working here, taking one of them are uh, coming. coming. Um, cool. We have this. Uh, this is the finalized area here. Uh, more stairs, more entrances, more details uh, over here. This is the overpass going, this is the covered the skate park that is covered with some really cool uh, roofs like it is in, uh, in in real life if we look here this is the skate park for the uh, it's covered really covered uh, pretty cool um, so if you that one it's also done I fill in this area here between this is an uh, actually hotel so I filled it in I added here a metro station I'm not sure I haven't checked to see if it's even in real like in real life there hopefully it is. And this is the finalized arena we made here. The finalized arena. We have actually metros that work here. We have like two or three metros that will go up, uh, come up here. Probably will get one uh, into the cinematics. Um, all in all, looks pretty cool. Uh, I like this parked car here. <laughs> half inside, half outside. Really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, and this is the entrance on th into the park underground parking area. Uh, I hidden it up with the, this, um, it's a door, black door, so it looks like it's dark inside there, but I had to do that so you can't see the ugly things inside, uh, inside there. Anyways, it's, uh, it went out pretty cool, I guess. Uh, this being said, I'm not going to show you more. This is the uh, parking area. I'm not going to show you more because I don't want to show you. Uh, you have to catch up the next episode. But guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, See you into the next episode of um, Little Friends. I'm on a vibe here, but I will leave you. Well, watch again, uh, watch the cinematics as well, and uh, take care, stay safe, and I salute you. <laughs>